Hi, I'm Swa Breen, your host of Pour It Up, the show where we explore the best that Philly has to offer in cocktails, craft beer, and coffee. Today, we're in historic Old City to take in some history, but some cocktail history. And we're starting off with the Clover Club, a drink that was invented right here in Philly. Today, we're at the Old Bar, which is located in the historic Bookbinders building. Bookbinders used to be a pretty famous restaurant back in the day, and it had some pretty interesting clientele, including presidents, movie stars, and even a few gangsters. The current cocktail menu pays homage to this history, so today we're here with Eric Weiss to do that, to drink in some history. So this is the Clover Club. Can you tell us a little bit about it, Eric? Of course. Well, the Clover Club is a classic Philadelphia cocktail. It originated here in the late 1800s at a gentleman's club that was located where the Bellevue is now. Not the kind of gentleman's club you're thinking. <laughs> gentleman's club, distinguished gentleman's club. Um, and the Clover Club reflects a lot of uh, the ideas behind the cocktails we're doing here. Um, obviously, the old bar is housed in the old original bookbinders, which once was the old original bookbinders. Um, there's a lot of history in these walls. My grandfather owned bookbinders from the 40s till the 90s. Um, so most of these cocktails have a lot of that history tied in. Uh, we have a drink called the Natural Born Huckster, which takes us back to the time when this whole area was the Dock Street Produce Market. My grandfather started as a huckster. Nice. So it's a nice tie-in. Um, we have a drink called the Fifth Grandchild, which is me. I'm the Fifth Grandchild. It's somewhat bitter, it's somewhat sweet. And the idea behind it is when hand-me-downs become pick-me-ups. So as I was saying, it's, it's a lot of history, a lot of classics, a lot of just real tried and true cocktails. And we put our own twist on it, but really, when you have a beautiful space like this with so much history and so many stories, you want the drinks to stand within that. And you really want to have some uh, storytelling involved. Absolutely. So we're going to make the Clover Club. We're going to start with an egg because we're going to use an egg white. You could use a half an egg white, that's what we use here, or a whole egg white. You always start with the egg because if you screw this up, you're not wasting any of your spirit. So in building the drink, we're going to start with the non-spirits first. Again, it's if you mess this up, you're not wasting your spirit. I don't know why I'm being so conscientious about that right now, but I am. All right, so we're going to start with three quarters lemon juice, then three quarters raspberry syrup. Uh, we make this syrup in house. You can too if you'd like, but not here. You can do it at your house. Then we're going to use sweet vermouth, and we're going to use a half ounce of that. Then we're going to use gin. We're going to put gin in, and here we're using Blue Coat. It's a local American dry gin. It's made here in Philadelphia. Uh, why do we use it? Because it's a local gin, and this is a Philadelphia cocktail. So we're going to use one and a half ounces of that. Next we're going to dry shake. Uh, that means shaking with no ice. And the reason we dry shake is because we want to emulsify the drink with the egg. It doesn't really make a satisfying sound at all. So Now we're going to do a hard shake with ice. We use a Nick and Nora. So a Nick and Nora is a glass that got popular in the early 30s. It's based off the Nick and Nora, Nick and Nora movie serial. It's these two detectives, and they used to drink their martinis out of these Nick and Nora glasses. Now we're going to garnish with a fresh raspberry, if I can find one. And voila! Clover Club! Cheers to the fifth grandchild. I'll drink to that. I don't have a drink though. This is so good. you got to come try this. That's all the time we have today. But join us next time on Mindy Philly, where something's always new. And everything's always Philly. Cheers. Even the old stuff. <laughs> Especially the old stuff. <laughs>